Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking rings, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. everyone let's play spaceships i'm going first oh no you're not it was my idea i'm mission commander you're what off we go then jess <laughs> jess <laughs> see you at the post office then Hurry up, everyone. We're off in a minute. Bill and Mira, you're the engineers. And Julian and Lucy, you're the navigators. Bossy or what? What's a navigator? Ugh. It means you watch where we are on the map, but not till we get into space. Right? Ready for blast-off? Five, four, three, two... We do the countdown. No, I'm the mission commander. I do the countdown. But I'm the engineer. I make the rocket go. And I help him. Yeah, so we do the countdown, right? <sighs> I'm not playing then. It's my game and I'm mission commander. You can play on your own. We will. You're too bossy anyway. What do we do now then? Let's put our space packs on and go looking for aliens. <laughs> oh. Those bins on the green should have been emptied weeks ago. The minute one blows over, the whole village is covered in litter. Aye. Hold on, though. I think I've got some that'll help. Now, where can that be? Uh-huh. Here it is. What on earth is that? It's the Ted Glenn Automatic Litter Blower. I made it out of me vacuum cleaner. I made it blow instead of suck, so I can blow all the litter into a pile. Watch this. All I do is point this at the litter, and whoops! Hey. Way! Oh, 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 oh. Alien alert! Alien, Alien alert. alert! Alien alert! Alien alert! Whoa! <laughs> oh, hello, Sarah. Something wrong? They say I'm too bossy, but I'm the one who has all the ideas. Now they won't play with me. Oh, dear. It's not fair, is it, Pat? Well, having lots of ideas is a good thing. But I think you should listen to your friends as well, don't you? Suppose so. Look, look, look! An alien! Hey! Alien! Freeze. What's wrong? 
It's not the same without Sarah. Yeah, she was a good mission commander, even if she was bossy. Why don't we go and find her and say sorry? Well, OK. I'm sure your friends are missing you as much as you're missing them. <laughs> you think so? I'm sure of it. Why don't you try being friends with them again? OK. I will. Good girl. Oh, and could you keep an eye out for Jess on your way? He ran off to play this morning and I haven't seen him since. Don't worry, Pat. I'll find it for you. Bye. Thanks, Sarah. Bye. She must be down in the village. Want to lift, kids? Oh, yes, please. Oh, great. Thanks, Thanks, Dad. Dad. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you all right, Ted? Aye. <laughs> Just takes a bit of getting used to. Oh, hello, Sarah. Looking for something? Yes, actually. Um, have you seen Jess? Uh, no. No, we haven't. Is he all right? Oh, yeah. Pat just asked me to find him. See you later. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> Look at that. Stacked up nicely, that has. Let's try me litter blower on the green. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo -hoo! Yes, there you are. Oh, no, Jess, no. Oh, careful, Jess. Oh, no. You're stuck. Meow. Don't move, Jess. I'm going to get some help. I'll get you down. Meow. Meow. Help! 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 What's the matter, Sarah? <sighs> it's Jess. He's stuck up a tree. Oh, dear. Don't worry. I'll be back with my ladder. And I'll phone round to find Pat. Hello, Greendale Post Office. What? It's Jess. He's stuck up a tree and I'm trying to find Pat. He's not back yet, but don't worry. I'll get some help. I'll ring PC Selby. I've never seen litter tidied up so well in my life. Great, isn't it? Way, hey, 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 whoop. Oh dear, he's not answering. No sign of Pat, but Mrs. Goggins is phoning PC Selby. Thanks, love. Stand well back, Sarah. Don't worry, Jess. Meow, meow, meow. Stop, Ajay. You're frightening Jess even more. Meow. I am, aren't I? Meow. Okay, Jess. I'm going down. Oh. Don't worry, Jess. We'll think of something. Hello, you three. Pat. Pat. Have you seen Jess? Yes! What's this? Oh, I've got a message. 
Hey, hey, hey! Oh, no. Hey! Hey! Ted! Whoop, Ted! Hey! Come on, Jess. Just jump into my arms. You'll be all right. What's going on? And what's Sarah doing? Let's go and find out. Sarah? Oh, hello. I thought you were playing spaceships. Yeah, we were. Sorry about what happened. And, uh, We'd like you to be our mission commander again. Even if you are bossy. Ow! Oh. Which you're not really. Oh. I'm sorry too. And next time, I'll listen to your ideas as well. Honest. But what's going on here? Meow! <gasps> Jess! Meow! <gasps> Steady, Jess. All right, all right, the police are here. Nobody panic. Pat! Oh, Pat, Pat, I've got a blanket. We can all hold a corner and Jess can jump down into it. Good idea, Mrs Goggins. Why don't we climb up there, Pat? We're astronauts. We're not afraid of heights. No, no. No tree climbing. That's far too dangerous. Perhaps if we just give the tree a shake instead. Meow! Oh, oh, no. no! That's made it worse, that has. That's... Oh, heck. Oh. Oh. Hey, oh. Oh. Look out! Oh. Oh, what's that? Ted's latest invention. The Ted oh, oh, oh. Glen Automatic oh, oh, oh. Litter Blower. <gasps> Good, isn't it? Look out! Pat, Pat! I've got an idea. We could use Ted's machine to fly up and get Jess down from the tree. <laughs> Would it work, Ted? Nay, Pat. I'm too heavy. It wouldn't take me that high. Why doesn't one of us do it? I I'll do it. Uh, I mean, um, I think Bill should do it. No, I think you should do it. Your mission commander, Sarah. Oh, thank you. What do you think, Ted? Oh, I should be safe enough, but don't worry. <laughs> Hold on, Jess. I'm coming. <laughs> So, all you've got to do is push this lever to go up uh, and this one to come down. All right. Got it, Ted. Count me down. Five. Five four, four. Three. three two, two. One. one. Blast off! Oh, 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 oh. Are you all right, Jess? Come here. Come on. Don't be afraid. Come on, Jess. You can do it. Well done, Jess. And well done, Mission Commander! Oh, well done, Sarah! Yeah! Ah, hello, Jess. Oh, you did it. Postman, postman, Pat, can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. 
Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red friend. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. He's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Why do I have to go to school when you're having the day off, Dad? Because it's Monday morning, Julian. And you have to go to school. But I want to go for a ride on the Greendale rocket with you. It's only a little round trip, Julian. Ajay's testing the engine and I'm helping out. Oh, come along, Julian. You always have a lovely time at school. Right? Oh. Have a nice day, son. Right then, Jess. Meow. All set for a day out? Meow. Morning, Ajay. Morning, Ted. Hello. Morning, Pat. So, what would you like us to do? Well, the first job we got to do is fill up the engine. Uh, we can use coal from the tender. <laughs> this is different from delivering letters, isn't it, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> if only Mrs Goggins could see us now. <laughs> oh, well, maybe not right now. <sighs> Morning, everybody. My word, Pat. You look like a proper engine driver. <laughs> yes, it's my day off and Ajay's letting me help out. But I got a bit too enthusiastic when I was stoking up the engine. All aboard! All aboard! I see. It's rather nice going on a little round trip. We'll be able to sit back and admire the lovely Greendale countryside. Relax and enjoy the trip. <coughs> Why, this is grand, isn't it, Dorothy? Gorgeous. I brought some sandwiches and a bottle of orange aid. And I've brought a cream cake and a flask of tea. And we've got some homegrown strawberries. Well, <laughs> we're not going to get hungry on this trip. <laughs> the rocket's going well today. Uh, Ted, look at the water gauge. Should it be going down that quickly? By heck, we're running out of water. Oh, no. I better put the brakes on. What are we going to do, Ajay? We won't get far without any water. Why don't we fill up with river water? Good idea, Pat. But it will take a lot of water to fill this boiler. Hmm. Uh, perhaps our passengers can help. OK, everybody. Have you all got something to hold water? Yes, oh, yes I have. Oh, I've got some of right. Start filling.
sorry, Jess. Meow. I really wish I wasn't at school today, Mira. Why? What's wrong with school? My dad's gone off for a ride in the Greendale Rocket and left me behind. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in the Greendale Rocket today. <laughs> it's more fun here. <laughs> hey, what are the flowers, not each other? <laughs> there you go, Ajay. <sighs> Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Every little helps, eh? <laughs> Just a drop more should fill up the tank, Ajay. Well done, Vicar. It's full up. Every drop is safely gathered in. Thanks, everyone. Let's get going again now. All aboard! All aboard! <laughs> My heck, all that exercise has made me hungry. I think we should have something to eat. Well, I do have a cream cake we could all share. Hey, <laughs> cream cake and strawberries, eh? <laughs> you can't beat that. Goodness me, that was quite a jolt. Nothing to worry about, Pat. Just a set of bumpy points. Oh! 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 oh. oh. oh my word! I wonder what my dad's doing on the Greendale rocket. <laughs> I bet he's not eating Lucy Selby's birthday cake. Look! Wow! Mmm! Yummy! Mmm! We're making up time now. Aye, oh, we're fairly belting along, Ajay. Oh, no! No wonder we're making up time. We've left the passengers behind. What? By gum. Me? I hope they've left us behind. What are we going to do? We're lost and abandoned in the wilderness. Oh, the prodigal engine returns. Sorry about that, everyone. The pin slipped out of the bolt. It must have come out when we went over that last set of points. Can you get it back in, Pat? Uh, I, I, I think so. <sighs> Got it. Oh, hey, boy, oh, you well did done, good Pat. train driver, I reckon. That was a tough one, Jess. This is my dad on the Greendale rocket. Do you still wish you were with him? No, this is much more fun. Oh, boo! <laughs> 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 we go. Ooh. You have to be fit if you want to be an engine driver. We've had quite a busy day. <laughs> well, nothing else can possibly go wrong now, Ted. <laughs> Let's hope not, Pat. Hmm, <laughs> pity about all this good food going to waste. Still, I managed to hang on to the cake. Would anyone like a slice? Oh, yes, please, Vicar. Oh, I'm starving. Let's get stuck in before something else happens. Whee! 
Ooh, look out! Haji! Stop the train! Elf, forgive me. <laughs> hey, that was a bigger piece than I was expecting, Vicar. I wonder what's happened. Oh, no. What's going on? These look like my sheep. What are you lot doing here? How are we going to get them off the line? Don't worry. I'll move them. Clear off. Go on. Shoo, shoo. Oh. <laughs> I think Jess wants to help you. Bring them round, Jess, good lad. Come by, come by. Follow me. Well, we've got your sheep off the line, Alf. But what are we going to do with them now? We can't put them back in the field, Pop. Look. They've trampled down the fence, so they'll only get back on the line again. There's nothing else for it. The sheep will have to travel in the Greendale Rocket. Oh, oh, oh dear. Well, at least the sheep are enjoying our strawberries, Alf. <laughs> Oh, surrounded by my gentle flock. <laughs> We'd better get this lot home. I'll give you a hand, Alf. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks for an exciting day out, Ajay. <laughs> Even if it was a little unexpected. It didn't quite go according to plan, did it? All these things are sent to try us. Thank you for helping me out today, Pat. Sorry for all the disasters. <laughs> <laughs> No problem, Ajay. I really enjoyed it. But it was a lot harder than I thought being a train driver. Wow. <sighs> Dad! Dad! I've had a great day. Mira and I played a brilliant splashing game. Then Lucy Selby gave me a piece of her birthday cake. Then I painted a picture of the Greendale rocket. And then I was the leader in Follow My Leader. Sounds like you had a much better day at school than I had in the Greendale rocket. What happened, Dad? What did you do? <laughs> well, first I got covered in coal dust, black oil and freezing cold water. Then the carriage got disconnected from the engine, and then we got stopped by a flock of sheep which were blocking the line. <laughs> You're both mucky pups. Oh. What would you rather be, Dad? A postman or a train driver? <laughs> no doubt about it, son. A postman. It's much, much easier. Just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocked. Ring, 
letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Do you think I'd make a good rock star, Jess? <laughs> no, me neither. What on earth's that noise, Jess? <laughs> Julian! Charlie! Why are you making such a racket? Sorry, Dad. Me and Charlie are starting our own band. You see, we, we've written our own song and we need to practice it. But my drums are at the school hall, so I'm practicing with these instead. Look! La, 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 la. La, la, ha, 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 ha. Oh! Oh, we sound terrible. Yeah. Hmm. What we need is a proper singer. Why don't you look for a singer here in Greendale? That's a great idea. Will you help us find someone, Dad? Yeah, you could be our, our manager, Mr Clifton. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. I'll tell everyone on my rounds and we could audition them later if you like. Brilliant. Speaking of my rounds, I'd best be going. Cheerio, boys. Bye, Bye Mr Dad. Clifton. <laughs> Looks like Jess wants to be in our band too. <laughs> come on then, Jess. You can come to the school hall with us to practice. Uh, oh, morning, Ted. Morning, Pat. Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. Good morning, Pat. My word, you're in fine voice today. Ah, uh, but not fine enough. Eh? Julian and Charlie are looking for a singer for their band, and I'm helping them find someone. Well, if it's a singer they're after... We'll be auditioning everyone at the school hall later. I'd best be off then. Uh, lots to do. Cheerio! Bye, Ted. I was quite the wee star in my day, you know, Pat. <laughs> la 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 So, what do you think, Pat? Am I good enough for the band? Oh, um... You're very energetic, Mrs Goggins, but I don't think it's quite what Julian and Charlie are looking for. Oh, well, never mind. But it would be great if you could come along later and help with the auditions. Oh, yes, that sounds like fun. <laughs> and I'll make sure everyone knows about it. That sounded pretty good. Let's give it a try. Well, I never. Sounds like I've found my singer already. Hello, Pat. Uh, oh, hello, Arthur. That, that singing voice, it's just what I'm looking for. Oh, that'll be Lucy. She's always singing around the house. Voice like an angel. Lucy! Yes, Dad. Oh, hello, Pat. Hello, Lucy. My, you've got a beautiful voice there. Julian and Charlie are auditioning for their band later. Why don't you come along? Oh, no. I couldn't sing in front of anyone. But you're so good. No, N no, I couldn't. What a shame. Oh, 
dear. That didn't sound right at all. Where's that funny noise coming from? Oh, no. It's my synthesizer. Something's wrong. Listen. Hold on a minute. That meow sounds familiar. Jess! Wow. Phew, it's only Jess. He's meowing into the microphone. <laughs> Silly Jess! Hmm. Jess is a good singer for a cat. Hello there, Alf. Hello, Pat. Would you like to come along and audition for Julian and Charlie's band? <laughs> I can sing for you now if you like. <laughs> Steady there, Daisy. <laughs> Looks like I'll have to give this singing like a miss. Me sheep are too excitable. Oh, dear. Well, never mind. Cheerio, Alf. Bye. Cheerio. No, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Do, do, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Oh, dear. No, re, mi, it sounds like finding a singer is going to be more difficult than I thought. Do, do, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Charlie and Julian have started their own band. Really? Oh, I'd love to be in a band. Well, maybe you can be. They're looking for a singer and you'd be perfect. Wow. I've always wanted to be a pop star, but I can't sing very well. la ti da 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 la 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 Maybe you just need a bit of practice. Try this. La 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 Wow! I didn't know you could sing like that, Mira. You should audition for Julian and Charlie's band. They're at the school hall this afternoon. I'll meet you there. Bye! Shh! Maybe you can audition after all. How? I don't want to sing in front of everyone, but if you pretend to, I could sing for you. But everyone would know. Not if I hid behind the curtain, they wouldn't. Wow! <gasps> Thanks, Lucy. Maybe I can be a pop star after all. But are you sure you don't want to audition? <gasps> no way! Well done, boys. That sounds fantastic. We've done it, Charlie. We've got our very own song. OK, boys. Are you ready to start auditioning for your singer? Yeah! Hello, everyone. Welcome to the audition. Oh, <laughs> looks like we've got a busy afternoon ahead of us. OK, everyone. Here's a copy of Charlie and Julian... <clears throat> I mean, the band song. We'd like everyone to have a try at it. Well, would anyone like to start us off? I will. If you want somebody to make you feel happy, come on, let me take you to a place where everybody can dance with somebody It's easy, can't you see? Um, thank you, Ted. Uh, that's enough to be going on with for now. Uh, eh? Eh? Oh, oh. oh all right. Next, please. If you want somebody to make you Feel happy, come on, let me take you To a place where everybody It's easy, can't you see? Come on, join with me! Clap your hands! Everybody turn around! No, no, that's oh, my line! No, 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 that's my line! No, no, you are going to 
magical bit no, on the other one. Like no, that. I'm sorry. No, I'm, no. No, no, I'm, no, I'm really sorry. Girls, maybe you can decide who's singing what and try again later. Yeah, OK, Pat. Then we can both sing that bit together. Who'd like to go next? <clears throat> I don't know, but it didn't sound much like our song. Well, what do you think? That was, um, uh, that was great, Bill, but it's not quite what we're looking for. OK. This is hopeless. Yeah, I know what you mean. If you want somebody to make you feel happy, Take you to a oh. place where everybody oh, yeah, she's good. can dance with somebody. Ooh, that it's voice sounds familiar. Come on, join with me. Clap your hands. <sighs> Lucy, of course. Everyone's staring at me. What should I do? Sing! I can't. Yes, you can. It should have been you standing here instead of me in the first place. But... Come on, Lucy. You're amazing. See? Oh, I don't think I can. Yes, you can, Lucy. That sounds fantastic. Really? Oh, OK. If you want somebody to make you feel happy, come and let me take you to a place where everybody can dance with somebody. It's easy, can't you see? Come on, join with me. Well, boys, I think you've found your singer. Everybody turn around. Welcome to the band, Lucy. Stamp your feet. Jump up, jump down, you can do it! Postman, postman, that can you guess what's in his bag? Is there a letter? Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man Everybody knows his bright red friend All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knocking letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat Postman Pat and his black and white cat All the birds are singing The day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man Mr. Pringle 
girls let me bring the school guinea pig home. Everybody wanted to look after Dotty, but Mr Pringle said I could take care of her. Well, well. Hello, Dotty the guinea pig. <laughs> That's not very nice, Jess. Dotty's our weekend guest. Let's put Dotty's cage over here. There you are. Mira is coming to play with you tomorrow, Dotty. Settle down in your basket, Jess, and leave Dotty in peace. <coughs> He's gone! Gone? Oh no, the cage door's open. Oh, what am I going to tell Mr Pringle? She must be somewhere. I was supposed to be looking after her. Don't worry, Julian. Dotty! <coughs> Dotty! Oh. We're sure to find her. Dotty! Dotty! <coughs> Dotty, where are Dottie. you? Dotty! Come on, come on, Dotty. I'm sorry, Julian. I have to go. I've got the post to deliver. But, but Dad, what if we can't find Dotty? It'll be all right, Julian. Dotty's bound to turn up when she gets hungry. Pat, don't forget your snack. Thanks, Sarah. I'll enjoy that later. Have a nice time with Mira, Julian. We were going to play with Dotty. Come on, let's go and have another look for her. Meow. <laughs> You're keen to get started this morning, Jess. <laughs> Stop that, Jess. You know you've got to sit still while I'm driving. Morning, Pat. Good morning, Arthur. Come on, Jess. Let's see how Mrs Goggins is this morning. <laughs> you are keen, Jess. Morning, Mrs Goggins. Oh, what's that you're knitting? Oh, morning, Pat. It's a scarf for the Reverend. I've nearly finished. Oh, I do hope he likes it. I'm sure he'll love it, Mrs Goggins. Hey! <coughs> what on earth? <coughs> Jess? <coughs> Jess! Put into that, we Jess. Huh? Um, have I dropped a stitch, pet? Uh, no, no. I was just, I was just admiring your handiwork, Mrs. Goggins. Hi, Julian. Where's Dotty? She's gone, Mira. Gone. Where? She got out of her cage last night. We've searched all the rooms downstairs and now we're going to look upstairs. Come on, Julian, I'll help. And maybe Dotty's hiding in your bedroom. Hi, 
Pat. How's Dotty? Uh, she was fine the last time I saw her, Katie. Is Julian giving her all her favourite food? Uh, uh, I think so, Tom. Morning, Julia. Here's your post. Oh, thanks, Pat. The twins and I have been busy sorting out the attic this morning. We found Granny's old fur hat and stole. Seems a pity to throw them out. Why don't you ask Mr Pringle if he'd like them for the school dressing up box? Oh, that's a good idea, Pat. <coughs> Mum! Look at Gran's furry hat! Nothing inside it. But it was moving, Mum. Maybe the wind blew it down the path. I suppose it could have been the wind. She's not in my toy box. Maybe she crawled under your bed. Dotty! Hello! Are you there? Poor Dotty. I bet she's getting hungry. <sighs> Time for our morning break, Jess. Hmm, I could just do with a biscuit. <coughs> hey, Jess, where are you going? <coughs> Jess. Come and sit up here with me. Meow. This is nice, Jess. Meow. A bit of peace and quiet at last. That's Meow. Dotty. Meow. It can't be Dotty, can it? Meow. Come on, Jess. Let's get her back. Meow. <laughs> Dotty. Meow. A mitten? Meow. <laughs> this isn't Dotty at all. So where's she gone? Meow. Oh well, never mind. Let's have our snack, Jess. What? Who's eaten my apple? And where's my biscuit? Dotty's not upstairs, Mum. We've looked everywhere. Oh, dear. Where can she be? Maybe she's outside. Let's go look in the garden. What, Divika? Oh, Nisha. You do spoil me. And there's a slice of your favourite ginger cake. What bliss! Won't you join me? Oh, I'd love to, Vicar. But I've got so much to do this morning. Morning, Nisha. <gasps> morning, Reverend. Hello, Pat. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. After the morning I've had, I'd love a cup of tea. There you go, Pat. Thanks, Nisha. Had a busy morning, have you, Pat? <laughs> you could say that. <sighs> can you see what I can see? I can see the tea cosy moving across the table, Pat. <coughs> I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Quiet, Jess. You'll scare her. Ah, 
gone again. You know what was in here, don't you, Jess? <coughs> I know it was Dotty, Jess. But where is she now? What am I going to tell everybody at school, Mira? We'll find her. She's got to be somewhere. Come on, Jess. <laughs> yes, I'm glad to be home too, Jess. Oh, Dad, we still haven't found Dotty. We've looked everywhere for her. We looked upstairs and downstairs. They even searched in the garden. Oh, dear. I thought I saw her in the station cafe just now. Really? But how could she have got there? <laughs> I don't know. It's been a very peculiar day. I'm seeing things. Oh! You're not seeing things and neither am I. That's Dotty. Dotty! <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> that tickles. You stay here with me. Where is she? Where's she gone? She's here, Julia. Hello, Dotty. Do you want your dinner? There you are. She's very hungry. I wonder where she's been all day. <laughs> I know exactly where she's been all day. <laughs> and so does Jess. Yeah. 